I noticed, you know, that this year it, it started off kind of crazy, and there's there's always stories of black people dying to the police, black people being brutalized by the police. But these last few stories have hit harder and harder and harder. Like you, you take Breonna Taylor for example, how the police, um, they're going to enter into her house, not even announcing themselves. They sh do freaking, they try to break into the house. Breonna Taylor's boyfriend who lawfully is armed shoots and uh, the police blindly shoot 30 times into the house, striking the boyfriend eight times, uh, striking, not striking the boyfriend, striking Breonna Taylor eight times and killing her. And they were and up raiding the wrong house. Are those guys gonna be put in jail? Um, you have Ahmad Arbery who got freaking lynched. Who like three white guys basically trailed him down. They murdered him right in the street. Seventy days it took for those guys to get arrested. Why? Why is justice so slow for white people, but so swift for us? Why do black people? Why do people that look like me get put under the jail without a chance for rehabilitation, without a chance for corrections, like without a chance to make our lives better? Like, why are, why are our lives so expendable to those people in power? Why is that? You know? And, like, I'm fed up with it. I'm, I'm fed up with it. I'm, I'm not with that anymore. You know, I, 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 what I want is for us who are on the side of justice, for us to witness our power and to, and to stop making demands and to stop asking for the other side to respect our humanity. They are going to respect our humanity whether they want to or not. They are going to do it. And the riots that are happening in Minneapolis shows exactly that. Like they're starting to fuck shit up and now justice is starting to move. And just just recently, just recent in the news, I read it just 15 minutes before I started this video that a medical examiner examined George Floyd's body and said that he didn't die of asphyxiation directly that perhaps some of the drugs that was in his body or some of his heart conditions on top of the pre police brutality um has something to do with his death like fuck out of here they're giving him the eric garner treatment we all witnessed that man get murdered in cold blood on the street we all witnessed that man get held down by three fucking men he's already detained in handcuffs on his stomach and he got just fucking he just got choked out we all witnessed it we don't need a medical examiner to confirm what we already know we don't need any of that shit we need justice, and we need a conviction, and we need, we need them to be put in jail. And that's all we're asking for. We're not asking for them to be burned at the stake like this is the 1600s and we're in the crucible. We want them to be treated like the way we are treated when we're out there in the street killing each other. That is all that we ask for. And where we need to pivot to, where we need to pivot to as a people, if the government is not serving us, then we need to make changes. We need when the election cycle comes around, we need to keep that same energy and vote in our interests. And it we can't only be activated when on a four year cycle when it's time for us to vote for president, because this is not happening. Like you know, the, America is like a huge country, but it's made up of several smaller governments. We have city governments, county governments, state governments. Um, it, like some people have districts, like di like district governments. There's so many individual smaller pieces that add up to make this country whole. We need to be there to be electing judges. We need to be there to be electing DAs. We need to be there to be electing mayors, city council members, and we need to be voting our interests up and down the ballot. Like no more of this bullshit of us just voting for president and after we vote for president, we just sit back and be disappointed because we're not we're not engaged and we're not pressing them on issues that we want them to change. Like no. Like, this is how we end up in this situation over and over and over again. I understand that we're all, that we're tired right now. And I understand that, like, it's time to put in that action. But when November 5th comes around, or whatever that first Tuesday is, uh, it's typically November 5th, when, it, but when election day rolls around, we need to keep that same energy. And we need to, but we need to apply that and, like, vote in our interest on the ballot box. Only then will changes come about, you know, for those people who are on the Internet and they say, oh, like, you know, what happened to George Floyd is a tragedy, but these riots have to stop. They could stop with it. Stop. Stop. I'm not trying to hear that. Nobody's trying to hear that who's out there writing right now. Stop it. When justice is served, the riots will end. I'm not in favor of damaging property. 
I'm not in favor of burning down businesses. I'm not in favor of hunting police officers. We've seen that already. We've seen this story already. We've seen this before. We saw this in, what was it, 2016, when Philando Castile and Alton Sterling died, and that dude in Dallas started shooting police officers. Like, we've seen this. We've seen this play out time and time and time again. And I would love nothing more for the violence to end. But the violence will only end. The violence will only end when justice is served. The violence it will only end when our justice system is reformed and it serves the interests of all people and not just those at the top. Not not just those who are white and wealthy. It has to be our justice system needs to serve every and every human being that's within these borders. And it, it like it needs to serve us equally and fairly. So when we mess up, then we should be held accountable for our actions. And when the police mess up, they need to be held accountable for their actions too. That's all we're asking for. And until that day comes, until that until that day comes, shit is just gonna it's gonna be what it is. There is no justice, no peace. It's gonna be what it is. By no means am I in favor of anarchy. Like we need the government, we need order, we need police. We do need police. When things happen, when someone's when someone's child goes missing, or when there's a domestic dispute, we need somebody. We need some third party to come in, break it up, and resolve the issue, and de-escalate, and get to the bottom of the situation. So we so like the we can go back to living peaceful lives. You know, like we can't live. We cannot live life without police, and <laughs> the government can't live life without us. We need to find a way to come together and to coexist. But <laughs> that will not happen at the sacrifice of black and brown people. And that will not happen. And that is what these riots are showing, is that we no longer will be just sacrificed. We, will, we are not the cattle of America. Like, we're, that's, you, it, too long already. We've already been through this period where <laughs> white Americans basically benefit off the hard labor, blood, sweat, and tears of black people, black and brown people, you know? And like no more, just no more, no more. That is what these riots are saying, no more. And until justice is served, shit will continue to get fucked up. If things escalate to where National Guard comes in, it's only gonna get worse. It is only going to get worse. And I I fear that day because so many, in it, there's gonna be so much collateral damage. So many innocent lives are gonna be lost and it's not necessary. What needs to happen is that these four men, these four cowards who killed that man, they they need to go to jail. They 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 need to be arrested, indicted, convicted, and serve out their sentence like anybody else who committed a crime. That's it. That's it. And all this all all will be forgiven. Well, all will be forgiven if that continues to be the norm from here on out. But Things will de-escalate and things will end when that happens. But until that day, until that time comes, no justice, no peace.